Rocket Lab has has nailed a suborbital mission uh, back in November, actually, to test hypersonic tech for the Department of Defense. It sounds like uh, the testing is all about speed and innovation, but like it seems like a leap forward for national security tech. There's a lot oh, going this, on. I mean, Rocket Lab has been launching missions for space and commercial government customers for almost seven years. Yep. They've they've deployed over 200 payloads from the U.S. and New Zealand launch sites. So their past successes are going to translate well here. Uh, and you're right. This is like an accelerated timeline because they were able to, to, to get this launch pretty quick. And the idea of, of being able to design, manufacture, assemble, integrate the experimental hypersonic tech into you know this existing launch process uh, is really cool. It's definitely a result of, of past lessons, past learnings. I think that we're seeing acceleration is going to be the name of the game going forward. Yeah. You know, how do you make this kind of thing happen? How do you focus on innovation and process planning in the or innovation inside of process planning? How, how do you make that happen? Yeah. And Andrew says it all the time that I think successful manufacturing in the future is going to come down to how quickly you can get something successfully into the hands of consumers and or clients.